In this video, we're going to look at a problem from the Belgium Flanders Math Olympiad in 2005. And this is actually one of the problems from the finals, number four. So the goal is to find all natural numbers n such that the square root of n plus the square root of n plus 2005 is also a natural number. So as we'll see in the solution, it's pretty straightforward to get an answer if you see some trick, but we don't know that if we found all n. So let's go ahead and see how to start. Maybe notice the first thing to observe is that if n and n plus 2005 are perfect squares, we are good. In other words, we have a solution. So let's go ahead and find the n values that allow us to have that, and then we'll end up showing that those are the only n values that work. So let's suppose that um, n plus 2005 equals x squared, where x is some natural number, and n equal and n equals y squared and like I said where x and y are both natural numbers. Okay great. But now that allows us to write um, x squared minus y squared equals 2005. Because notice, if you subtract n plus 2005 minus n, you obviously get 2005. Now, from here, what we can see is we can factor this guy. That's going to give us x plus y times x minus y equals uh, 2005. Now the next thing to notice is that if x and y are natural numbers, then x plus y and x minus y are also natural numbers, which means we really should be looking at the factorization of 2005 as well. And so maybe the first way to look at it is this way. So let's do x plus y times x minus y equals 2005 times 1. So in other words, the bigger one of these will be 2005 and the smaller one of these will be 1. So let's see what we get for that. So let's say x plus y equals 2005 and x minus y equals 1. So notice adding those equations give us 2x equals 2006. In other words, x equals 1003. And um, notice this equation right here can be rewritten so that y equals x minus 1. In other words, y equals 1002, which makes n equal 1002 squared, which is a million four thousand and four. Okay, so we've got our first n value that uh, makes this combination a natural number. So let's look at another way to do it. So that will uh, depend on another way of factoring 2005. So we can do x plus y times x minus y equals 401 times 5. And in fact, 401 and 5 are both primes. So this exhausts both ways of doing this. So again, we'll let the bigger one be equal to x plus y and the smaller one be equal to x minus y. We'll use the same strategy exactly here. So we'll add the equations. That gives us 2x equals 406, which means x equals 203. The next thing to notice is that y equals x minus 5, so that means y equals 198, which tells us that n equals 198 squared. Okay, and that is 39,204. So we found two solutions to this. So we've got this 1,004,004, that's one solution. And then we've got this 39,204, that's our other solution. Okay, so far we found two solutions to this problem. One is 1,002 squared and the other one is 198 squared. Now the next thing we want to do is prove that those are the only solutions. And we'll do that in the following way. So let's go ahead and suppose that we have some n where the square root of n plus the square root of n plus 2005 equals m, which is a natural number. Now what we want to do is solve for n in terms of m. So let's see how we can do that. 
So this means that the square root of n plus 2005 is going to be equal to m minus the square root of n. Okay, but we can square both sides of this. Notice if we square both sides of that, we get n plus 2005 equals m squared minus 2m square root of n plus n. So that's just straightforward multiplying out the right hand side. Okay, so now the next thing we can notice is this n and this n cancel on either side of the equation. Now we can reorder this so that we get the square root of n like kind of isolated on one side. So let's see what we get when we do that. Maybe we'll do this, we'll add this to this side of the equation and subtract 2005 to the other side of the equation. So we get 2m root n equals m squared minus 2005. Now let's go ahead and divide by 2m. So that gives us the square root of m equals m squared minus 2005 over 2m. So let's go ahead and simplify this. I'll go ahead and take the half out of it, and then we'll have m minus uh, 2005 over m. But now let's go ahead and square both sides of this again, and that'll give us n equals one over four, and then m minus 2005 over m squared. But recall that n is a natural number. Great. So this kind of thing will only work if n is a natural number. In other words, if this thing is a natural number. But a requirement of this entire thing being a natural number is m minus 2005 over m needs to be a natural number. It's actually a little bit more strict than that, but at least we know that this has to be some natural number. But that tells us that m is a factor of 2005, which tells us that m has to be in the set 1, 5, 401, and 2005. Okay, let's just reiterate how we got here. We started by assuming that our expression, square root of n plus square root of n plus 2005 was equal to m, which was a natural number. Then we solved that expression for n. We know that n has to be a natural number, but in order for n to be a natural number, this thing in orange has to be a natural number. But in order for that thing in orange to be a natural number, this thing in red has to be a natural number. And like we said, there are more things that have to happen for this thing in orange to be a natural number, but at least this thing in red has to be a natural number. But for this thing to be a natural number, we need 2005 over m to be some natural number. But that means m has to be a factor of 2005 so that this division is like exact. But that means m needs to be 1, 5, 401, or 2005 because those are all the factors of 2005. So if we plug those back up here, what we'll see is we gain the values of n that we had previously. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll check that. Okay, so let's see where we were. We solved our expression for n. We got the m has to come from that set. Now let's just look at this set one at a time. So let's say that m equals one. So that makes n equal to one quarter, one uh, minus 2005 squared. Okay, but notice that's going to be equal to the same thing as 2004 squared over 4. But we can factor this into uh, 2 times 1002. Notice the 2 squared is going to be 4. That's going to cancel the downstairs, and we get 1002 squared, which notice that's one of our solutions already. Now let's do another one. So let's do m equals 5. So that's the next one. So here we'll have n equals 1 quarter and then 5 minus 2005 over 5 squared. So that's going to be 1 quarter and then 5 minus. But let's recall that this thing factored like 401 times 5. So that's going to be 401 squared. 
Okay, good. But notice that uh, 401 minus five is 396. So that gives us 396 squared over four. But notice that that is uh, exactly equal to 198 squared because we can factor this 396 into 198 times two. Great. So again, that was our other solution that we found previously. And then I'll just let you guys check that if you check M equals 401 or M equals 2005, you get the same kind of thing. In fact, this M equals 401 will give you the same thing as M equals 5, and M equals 2005 will give you the same thing as M equals 1. So in fact, these are the only solutions. So let's go ahead and that, add that in there. And maybe uh, before we call it, maybe let's leave this question to everyone out there in internet world. Can we repeat this problem with the expression the square root of n plus the square root of n plus uh, 2020? And what kind of solutions do we get for that? So put that in the comments. All right, we're good to go.